Inscore PLC and Atwood Oceanics, Inc. have jointly announced that they have entered into a definitive merger agreement under which Inscore will acquire Atwood in an all-stock transaction. The definitive merger agreement was unanimously approved by each company's board of directors. Under the terms of the merger agreement, Atwood shareholders will receive 1.60 shares of Imsco for each share of Atwood common stock for a total value of $10.72 per Atwood share based on Imsco's closing share price of $6.70 on May 26, 2017. This represents a premium of approximately 33% to Atwood's closing price on the same date. Upon close of the transaction, Insco and Atwood shareholders will own approximately 69% and 31%, respectively, of the outstanding shares of Insco PLC. There are no financing conditions for this transaction. Insco expects to realize annual pre-tax expense synergies of approximately $65 million for full year 2019 and beyond. The combination is expected to be accretive on a discounted cash flow basis. Atwood CEO Rob Saltiel stated, The combination is an ideal strategic fit. Both companies are passionate about operational excellence, safety and customer satisfaction with core values and cultures that are perfectly aligned. We believe the combined company will offer an unmatched rig fleet and workforce. These attributes, anchored by a strong balance sheet, should enable the company to thrive as market conditions improve and allow Atwood shareholders to fully participate in the market recovery. The transaction will join two leading offshore drillers, combining long-established histories of operational, safety and technical expertise with high-quality assets that cover the world's most prolific offshore drilling basins. The acquisition will strengthen Insco's position as an offshore driller with exposure to deep and shallow water markets that span six continents. Upon closing, Insco will add six ultra-deep water floaters, including four of the most capable drill ships in the industry, and five high-specification jackups. The combined company will have a fleet of 63 rigs, comprised of ultra-deep water drill ships, versatile deep and mid-water semi-submersibles and shallow water jackups along with a diverse customer base of 27 national oil companies, super majors and independents. The combined company's fleet will be among the most technologically advanced in the industry and will meet the deep and shallow water drilling requirements of an expanded base of clients around the world. Within the fleet of 26 floating rigs, semi-submersibles and drill ships are 21 ultra-deep water drilling rigs, capable of drilling in water depths of 7,500 feet or greater, with an average age of 5 years, establishing this fleet among the youngest and most capable in the industry. The Jackup fleet will be the largest in the world, composed of 37 rigs, including 27 premium units. These Jackups are all equipped with many of the advanced features requested by clients for shallow water drilling programs, such as increased leg length, expanded cantilever reach, greater hoisting capacity and offline handling capabilities. The combined company will be a geographically diverse driller with current operations and drilling contracts spanning six continents in nearly every major deep and shallow water basin around the world. Regions will include major markets such as the Gulf of Mexico, Brazil, West Africa, Middle East, North Sea, Mediterranean and Asia Pacific. Customers will include most of the leading national and international oil companies, plus many independent operators. In total, the combined company will benefit from a diversified client base with the largest number of current customers of any offshore driller. Insco's executive management will continue with Carl Trowell as president and CEO, Kerry Lowe as executive VP and CU, and John Baxter as senior VP and ICFO. Insco PLC's chairman will continue to be Paul Rosie, and the board of directors will include Carl Trowell, plus two members from Atwood's current board effective at closing. Insco will continue to be domiciled in the UK and senior executive offices will be located in London and Houston. Insco PLC shares will continue to trade on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol ESV. Future revenue growth opportunities are anticipated with an expanded fleet serving a larger customer base across a wide geographic footprint. While current market conditions are challenging, Insco will be ideally positioned to meet increasing levels of customer demand as the market recovers.
Annual expense savings of $65 million are estimated to be realized in full year 2019 and beyond, and 2018 cost synergies are projected to be more than $45 million. Expense savings are anticipated from the consolidation of offices that include corporate staff departments and shore-based operations in overlapping markets, as well as the standardization of systems, policies and procedures across the organization. Based on the anticipated annual savings, the plant combination is expected to be accretive on a discounted cash flow basis. The balance sheet of the combined company will remain strong. Adjusted for the expected retirement of Atwood's outstanding revolving credit facility with cash and short-term investments on hand, total available liquidity was $3.9 billion on March 31, 2017 and included $1.6 billion of cash and short-term investments. The estimated enterprise value of the combined company is $6.9 billion based on the closing price of each company's shares on May 26, 2017. The combined company will have approximately $3.7 billion in revenue backlog. The transaction is subject to approval by the shareholders of Insco and Atwood, as well as other customary closing conditions. The transaction is not subject to any financing conditions. Insco and Atwood intend to file a joint proxy statement slash prospectus with the Securities and Exchange Commission as soon as possible. The companies anticipate that the transaction could close as soon as calendar third quarter 2017.